this is what we have done so far and uh, i have posted a youtube video on this as as well so you can um, watch it if you have missed the lecture in the last session i'm not going to discuss it again so here we are having our glances conscious and then unconscious and then how these are going to change the way we try to understand people people say they claim that when you break an eye contact by looking down that's intimidating that is um, you trying to get into a zone of getting involved right and when you are breaking an eye contact by looking to the side right Uh, that is not attractive so uh, we have to uh, be very careful because non verbal communication can be um, manipulative as well but this is general claims right so we have a polarized response um, either attracted momentarily they are self conscious by your presence and it may happen or it can be uninteresting as well or even they try to avoid making i contact it's a glance consciously you look at somebody and then uh, move away from there when we are having a glance with strangers we might find uncomfortable as you know that when you have an eye contact with somebody who is known you know what the person is going to think and you actually um, can get into the idea that what person is thinking right and therefore we are uncomfortable when somebody is having an eye contact with us especially the stranger okay so in order to achieve accuracy there are three rules that you should follow and these three rules are practice practice and practice Uh, for this exercise um uh, to get this 100% accurate you can um, walk into the room walk into the shopping mall or walk into the market and make eye contact with people you find interesting or attractive you will realize that how dangerous it is and um, people will also feel uncomfortable as you may feel also uncomfortable but that's the basic idea to make our learning strong it will help your confidence so uh, one of the uh, tips for feeling confident is this that you start making eye contact with strangers uh, but that has to be a limited otherwise um, there are different <laughs> uh, different levels of eye contact where you can get into trouble and i know um, there are lots of female uh, students in the class and who better understand eye contact than females they know everything whenever you are looking at them they quickly get into the uh, the the mind that what kind of glance you are having level 2 uh, eye contact may be half a second now you can say 1 second 60 seconds make a minute half a second so blinking happens in a second so you can understand the intensity of time that we are talking okay okay now now whatever he is following is really um uh, interesting in this sense that um, you may get into something and you know what i'm trying to tell so level 3 is half plus full glance so it is very delicate very short lasting in terms of time it's unconscious and difficult to notice without a lot of practice that whether the person has glanced you uh, it, it was it level 2 or level 3 right so you need a practice so um, if you have done the exercise before you will be able to see that the person is uh, glancing at you with 
to uh, one and a half glance, right? So when somebody looks at you, you will find, and then breaks the eye contact as they no as people normally do. And then within one fourth of a second longer, they will look at you again. No, unconsciously, we like this. We are, we are programmed to do this, right? We try to focus on something. And if this up to this level, it comes, that means you are interested. And there is a strong chance that you will have a conversation. You will have a conversation. Whether you like it or not, the person who has done this to you, you are going to have a conversation. 99.9% .9 you will have a conversation. And once you are having conversation, the look, the eye contact increases. This is where double glance, level four. warm response will come. The conversation may not start if um, the previous level has not initiated any conversation. But here, the warm greetings. Hello, how are you? Um, or any kind of uh, beginning of a conversation where people feel comfortable. But one thing one has to remember and that is the physical interest. People uh, get into, see, uh, I don't know whether you have seen Discovery, the law of attraction uh, among male and females, um, how uh, we choose our partners, how we choose our um, friends. It's all depending on this one, level four. If you are physically attracted to a person, You have gone through this stage. <clears throat> Your neurochemical uh, reactions allow you to have this. The interactions will be longer. The conversations will be longer. Otherwise, short ones. Now, why we are why we are learning all this? We don't want to get into physical interest of um, of anybody. But this will decide the proximity, the comfortness when we are dealing with clients, when we are dealing with people whom we want to work with. Next, the gaze. This is where people look at you and they start looking at you. There is a specific way of looking at people and um, normally once level four is there and if you are interested in the person, you started gazing the person. But then there are times when you look away as well. There is a, a, a moment when uh, we, you don't want to continue this gaze. And there are reasons. We will talk about it in the next level. It's, it's a clear sign and large sign, okay? clear and large sign that you are interested in other one, the other party. It's a solid in eye to eye contact. You try to look into the eyes of the person. This is where psychologically you will be able to understand each other well. Though the, uh, the time span would be very limited. It is this time you will decide whether you want to continue with the person or not. Because by now you have read the person's mind. This is the case where they are <clears throat> The initial Bollywood movement of falling in love, deciding factor, 
that whether I want to continue or not. If somebody is looking away, that means um, that is the end of the film, the end of the dialogue. If it continues more than two seconds, you will enter into the new phase. And that is that look, that gaze, that level, bring smile on your face, whether the person is known or unknown. Interest, interest and interest. Now, I have combined two levels, level six and level seven. The level six might get a stoppage, but if it does not, then it changes into staring and smiling, staring and smiling, staring and smiling. This is where the neurochemical reactions start and enter and you can see how much less time it takes for us to have an eye contact and smile and smile and stare and stare within a minute or so. What happens in a minute and then changes into level eight where you are actually fallen into love with somebody. Now, this feelings of love is very over generalized. So I don't want to get into that love kind of the Bollywood kind of love. But this is what happens. It's a mutual one, okay? If one of the persons looks away, it doesn't happen. But if they continue for a minute, then, um, and if they both smile, I'm <laughs> trying to explain how eye contact can bring the element of feelings how you start reacting to the person's body. Now, uh, if you stop at this moment, the differences in gender also can occur at level seven. And that's why I'm saying the gender issue plays a very important role here. And this is the smile where the industry thrives on. When an actor is looking into the camera, directly into the eye, with this level, with this smile, a product in his or her hand, they are trying to make you fall in. This is the level they are using, level eight. The entire industry, Whichever industry, whichever product, whichever consumer durable you are talking about, it's there. What I want you to do is to look at the product advertisements where the actors are really looking and delivering level eight eye contact. Try to understand how people bring into their zones. This is where you start moving from your comfort zone and enter into somebody else's comfort zone. This is where you make the deals, business deals. This is where people put faith in you. People start trusting you. <clears throat> Level eight. It's not just love. It's mutual because it is this level where people can really get into your psyche. People can read your mind. This is where you say what you don't want to say. Or this is where you convey what you don't want to convey. This is where you try to tell the truth and you hide the truth. Because it's mutual. Because the feelings are mutual. Love is just for the sake of using, for physical attraction and then 
the kind of uh, whatever happens in love. I don't know what happens in love, but this is what happens. That you try to understand each other. Remember, before this level, you have gone through the physical interest as well. So if you can um, uh, get into the YouTube and find out how um, male chooses female and how female chooses a male, you will realize that these are the levels that we are talking about. And then level nine is a crazy one. <clears throat> Gando, the mad, insane. I'll be sharing some of the uh, uh, articles with you, go through them, and you will realize that what is the importance of this gaze, what is the importance of this smile in a business environment, in an organizational environment. It also tells you when to stop looking at people's eyes. It also tells you that where we are staring and where should we stop sharing? Because this does not occur in every culture. Because in every culture, this would be different. So from level six, level seven and level eight, we need to understand when to stop. Because the issues related to gender can play a very dubious role. Because by now you have you have seen that in level four, we have a physical interest. We show that interest. And if it lasts more than a minute, then you have analyzed whether consciously or unconsciously the person's entire body looking at somebody's body is celebrated these days that you can uh, watch my body on social media because we all the time post it it's celebrated but in real life you feel offended so make sure that we understand when to stop how to stop where to smile and how to smile how you have gone through approximately six, seven levels which can be used. We maintain eye-to-eye -eye contact with the person in a 10-minute conversation, three to six minutes, not more than that. And that also not up to level eight. Right? So you can see how powerful the eyes can be. How powerful the sense of connection would be with the other person. Right? So um, this also gets into the manipulation of our um, eye contact. Right? The kind of uh, things that we uh, do when we talk to somebody. Right? Um, we express our sadness or embarrassment or shame or even depression through these eyes and therefore we do not allow anybody to look into our eyes for more than three to six minutes during 10 minutes conversation we try to look away from now when we say that we are looking away from a person during 10 minute conversation, we don't say that we are not confident. We come back to the person and maintain the eye contact. This is how we deal with people. This is how we uh, maintain eye contact continuously. So there are four minutes. If we take uh, six minutes, the maximum time that we are in contact uh, with the person through eyes, we try to look away from the person four minutes continuously. It's natural. 
and whatever six minutes you have eye to eye contact with the person it's intense because you are involved in a discussion you are having a conversation and it's very natural so there is nothing to worry if you are having eye contact for more than three to six minutes right it's it's natural and let the people judge what kind of eye contact you have females are really good at it because that's where they try to understand the mindset of the males so we are really conscious of this space and security and therefore we do not have an eye contact in public spaces in lift or even walkways or even a crowded bus or train observe yourself and others as well whenever there is a difficult question asked how do people have an eye contact whenever you are volunteering for something and you don't have answer what kind of look what kind of eye contact you have try to observe that so interestingly eyes will tell you more about what the person is doing what he is trying to convey so make sure uh, that you try to uh, understand when you go for uh, field work that how people develop this eye contact and how they avoid how they make eye contact 